Kinky Peeps, and welcome to this edition of the Saturday Afternoon Wiki Tree Livecast. Appreciate you guys stopping in to talk to us. To today, we are having uh, a fun time. Hold on just a second. Somebody I know needs to mute. Tell me. I muted. Somebody needs to mute. <laughs> there we go. Done. Uh, so... You know, it's always it's always the person, the host, who messes that stuff up. It's it's never the moderator, is it, Emma? No. That couldn't be. <laughs> um. Anyway, so we're going to talk about merging today, which is an important thing on WikiTree. And why is it important? Merging makes the duplicates go away. We don't delete profiles ever. We only uh, do merging. So. You got a couple extra duplicate profiles. You work on finding the duplicates, making sure everything's lined up. Make sure you find all the duplicates and you merge them all down into the lowest number. So, uh, any any quick tips to 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 share while I'm bringing my screen share up there, Emma? Any? No. <laughs> Everybody's quiet. Okay. So when there, you don't want my quick tip. Yeah, go for it. Okay. When there are multiple merges due together, this question came up today, such as three profiles, what do you merge into what? Um, and the quick tip is you merge one of the higher numbers into the lowest number, and then the other higher number into the lowest number. Right. So that everything flows into the lowest number. Um, it makes for cleaner um, rerouting to that final redirecting on the server. Yes. And uh, thank you for that. Not so quick tip, Emma. <laughs> that was great. I uh, want to make sure that we're recognizing that uh, Debbie Hogue is sitting in with us. Debbie, Debbie, Say hello, Debbie. Debbie, Debbie is somewhere howdy, in the southern, southern U.S. where it's sunny, where Disney might live. I don't know. Somewhere down that yeah, way. Yeah, we're about 30 miles north of Disney. There you go. And so Debbie is, is uh, a last minute run in, which is great. We don't mind that. And what we really do like is that she is one of the co-leaders of the Profile Improvement Project. So she is going to be chiming in on all of the merging cleanup information. But for right now, we've got my screen up and we will go right to that. So. This is the uh, merging WikiTree help page. So all I did was go to help. I went down here to the help index. And when the help index came up, I went to the table of contents or the talk. I clicked on M to take me to all the wonderful M things there could be on WikiTree. And I clicked about merging, which brings up the help page. And if you notice that uh, just recently this new fun box pops up on all of our WikiTree help pages where you can search for anything. And if I weren't already on the merging page, I would type merging in this box and it would bring up more merging stuff. Every So if, if every time I say the word merge today, uh, you have to go and find a, a merge to do. It's, it's like the WikiTree version of a good drinking game. Instead of drinking, we do merging. <laughs> Every time I've said it like five times, so you have to go and merge five profiles. So here we are on the page, and it says every person should only have one profile on WikiTree. Our entire community is working together on one shared family tree. We're collaborative. Um, so if you find a dip duplicate, click to initiate a merge. And usually, if you're on a profile page, uh, let's go to this pr page right here. If you're on Elizabeth Farley's profile page, born in about eight, 1480, and you scroll down and you see that, uh, oh, there's a merge. There's already a merge done for this one. But if, if we were actually looking at a different profile and we wanted to initiate a new merge, we would click on this link right here, initiate a merge, and that would do it for us. And... Um, Emma, do you have a profile that you know needs to be merged right now? We should find a duplicate. Find? I have a duplicate, but it's not ready to be. It's not ready. Find. Okay, when I had, I did. 
the the one I had, I did listen to her. <laughs> well, no, the one I had found within the last couple of days, I was working on a family sourcing them and found a set of daughters that were exactly the same. And I did it right then. Right. So if we're looking for duplicates, so I'm on Elizabeth Farley's page. I go up to the drop down menus across the top right of the profile page and I scroll down, search for matches. I click on that and it's going to give me all of the people on Wikitree who are named Elizabeth Farley, including uh, people with uh, uh, married names of Farley, maiden names, and a couple of um, name uh, nuances like Farley with an L-E instead of just uh, and then Farlow and then Fairly F-A-R F-A-I-R-L-I-E so we, we, we look down we know this lady was born in 1480 but I don't see a lot of profiles on here that have dates which is a bit annoying but that's okay so let's go back to Elizabeth Farley and if we were to initiate a merge, we'll just show you how to do that. You go over here and click on this button to initiate. You say Farley 628 and uh, what was the other one that down there that um, we'll grab this other number real quick. So Farley 626. Um, so we'll go back to the merging. We'll say that we want to merge into Farley. 626 and we've got several options here we can compare we can look at the profile side by side so that brings I, even if i'm sure on a match i always click compare just to double check right absolutely all them emerge and so we get to look down here and we'll see that uh first off there's a big red flag um elizabeth farley the 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 merge that is listed at the bottom of her profile page is for Elizabeth Farley born in 1480 and Edward Farley born about 1608. I don't know who on earth initiated that, but that is obviously not the same person in any way, shape or form. A, there are uh, one's a male, one's a female. Two, their dates are way off. They were born in the same area. But if you look down here, you even see that the, the parents, John Farley, Roger Farley for Edward. I mean, there's lots of things here that are telling me that these are not the same people and that they should not be merged together at all. Uh, and Nayx is the profile manager on that. So let's go back to the original Farley profile. We know for sure that that uh, match should not go through. So going back to the initiate merge screen, we, we're not going to complete this. But if, if this was a good merge, we would say click to merge it. And what would happen is that the profile manager would get another request for this merge and she would re reject it again. And this one here, we'll, we'll just say it's a rejected match. Uh, and it also says up here, you get a note saying that Elizabeth Farley, Edward Farley are already rejected matches. Um, so that, that, that's just to run through really quickly. Um, let's look and see if I've got somebody that, do you have somebody interesting that has a bunch of, no, you already said no. So let's, um, what are you looking for? Gold. <laughs> so here's my grandmother's, um, profile. Right off the bat, I see something is wrong. Profile improvement. One, one of the things that I did when I first started uh, really getting into some, some changes is I started adding a horizontal line after all the categories, and that is a no-no now. So I've just taken that out. I'm going to explain here. Take out horizontal line. Thank you so much for commenting the change. If I was working ranger duty, you'd be getting a thank you. Well, thank you so very much for that. Thank you. Oh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to go on back here and just see if I can find somebody fun, Eliza Donnan. 
Let's see if she has any um, duplicates. So Eliza will search for matches. And there are quite a few, Eliza. Let's see, the Dorman, Faulkner, Donnan, um, Donnegan, Donnan, Eliza. There's lots of Eliza Donnans. But fortunately, there aren't any that look like my Eliza. See, I do too good a job on my, my stuff. And here again, got to take that stupid line out. live casting, taking out line. <laughs> I was just so, looking through the McGee's to see if I could find somebody we could look at. Oh, who, you know what? So we will, I have a merge we can put through if that's there what you go. Want. What's that uh, ID number? Um... Let's see, Farmer 520. This is one that I've been waiting on because there's a tiny issue on it, but we can put it through because uh, there's a way to do it. Listen to how we are collaborating. So Cornelius Farmer from Hawkins County, Tennessee. And uh, I noticed that he's got some good uh, DNA matches. And I see that somebody has proposed a match with Cornelius Milton Farmer. That'd be me. So let's compare those. So the only issue on this um, is there's a difference in the death place. And so either I could stop and do a little research to see if I could find out which one is correct, or I could go ahead and merge them and put a note in the biography that there's an alternate death place. I see there's a bit of a difference in the spelling of the last name of the wife. But that can be, the, the wives will need to be merged after this merge anyway. Right, so we'll let's do this one and we'll come back to it. So is this pending approval from the other profile manager? It's ready to go. It's ready to go. So let's mm -hmm. just scan down here. We'll look at the rest of the information. Research Norse, uh, six to, birth dates are different, uh, 1837, and then there's a more specific one. So when I see a specific birth date, I want to go down and see, find a grave memorial. So, how to find a grave, yeah. Okay, and so there was nothing, no other, further other information. <clears throat> so we can go ahead and merge these, but we're going to go a step further after we merge them. So we're going to click on merge them and it's going to tell us that an approved uh, merge proposal was found. So the merge can continue. And it says farmer 520 was created before farmer 2999. Therefore, please reverse the direction of the merge, merge farmer 299 into farmer 520 which means that uh, what we were talking about earlier is you always want to merge down into the lowest number. So we're gonna hit click on that, follow the directions, because merging Farmer 520 into Farmer 2999 will not work. And here we go. Debbie, you're up twice on the... the yeah, I am yeah. on purpose so that I can send you um, a link. Okay. So here is a clear duplicate. Uh, it, it's written in the explanation that is a, it's a clear duplicate, which I agree with. Uh, but we're going to go down and look through it. And it gives you all of the information. The uh, information in the green column is uh, data from Farmer 2999, which is being kept, or it's the same as Farmer 520. And the third, uh, if the third column is yellow, then it means that there's a, a difference. So there was no uh, sourcing on the original, the Farmer 520, to show uh, why the date for 1837 was listed. So I'm gonna click this radio button over here to make it April the 26th, 1838, to follow the find a grave. And we're gonna talk further about that. Don't get yourselves all worked up. Um, and then uh, 1907, a death date, the gender is still male, 
and we're going to carry over the primary photo that gets clicked automatically. Can uh, I point, out, can I point out a couple things? Yeah. So it is default that both spouses will carry over. You don't have to pick and choose. They both come, and um, it's default that the, the primary photo will come over unless, as you said, you click off of it. Right. So that's that the, that radio button button is is already clicked. So we're going to click confirm to merge these two profiles to get rid of that duplicate to prune a limb from the tree and voila. And any children that he had also will come over with him as well. So we get the big bright red or fuchsia or whatever color it is on your screen. Um, now that the basic merge is complete, please edit Cornelius Farmer's biography and sources. It's very important to integrate them. Otherwise, the profile is messy and hard to follow. Uh, and I just say, boy, it's just messed up. But it's not. So let's go down and look and see what we've got down here in the fields. We've got John Farmer, and we're confident that he's the father, but there's really no proof or information on the profiles yet unless the, the, there's a listing on the find a grave, but we're going to look at that more in just a second. Lucinda Frost is the mother. The dates look good. Louisa Brandenburg and Louisa Ann Cecil Brandenburg were farmer were brought over as those spouses. And he has two children here, Simpson Leonard Farmer and Orpha Farmer. The picture got transferred over. Now let's go down and check out the biography. So, uh, Debbie, this is in your way. You want to talk to us about the... Uh... Okay, down the biography, and I need to... Down in the biography, you've got two sets of headings from that came in from the two different profiles. So you've got a biography and a biography. There's a line between it. That's the line that um, Mags was talking about taking out on her other one. And you're going to take it out on this one as you merge the two profiles. What you want to do at minimum is move the stuff that's in the biography, yeah, biography section up, compare the two, keep the information from both that's different. If there's a lot of information that's different from the two, you want to identify which profile it came from because you want to keep track of who contributed that information in case you ever want to ask them questions about it. So here we have Cornelius was a farmer in 1837. And remember, we chose to keep the date on the find a grave since there was no other um, reference uh, information other than a user loaded information. But what I'll do uh, normally for me is I'll take the Cornelius was uh, was um, I'll take this information out, and I will keep the entered by Matthew Stidham, and I'll move that down here to um, below the uh, information. I'll just do it right here for fun. Create another acknowledgments section. And I will put the information in. I'll remove the, the reference tags. And I will uh, add a, an asterisk so that it is a bullet point. So we'll go back up. I notice also that the uh, sources is not, the sources on the original profile, 520, were not, um, or yeah, were not, uh, it wasn't up to the regular standards. So I want to take the reference information here and put it up to the top. I always leave a space in so that all of the inline and out of line um, information will come up in order and without spaces or with spaces. So it's easier for my old eyes to read. My eyes are not old. But, and uh, as soon as I learn how to cut and paste, we'll be going good here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the X other information. I'm going to add it to this for uh, Matthew, so I have his uh, Wikitree ID now and the note to check uh, the changes pages to see other information. So since we already have a sources and a reference section going, we'll take this out. 
Uh, we, I see that um, there's a research note on the, I always kind of work up from the bottom. I do too. There's a research note in here for <clears throat> your profile. So we'll go up here and we'll add that in. Looks like Matthew actually created both these profiles. Is that right, Emma? Um, I don't remember. So Cornelius passed away. Cornelius married. So we do have a little bit more information. And we've got Jack. So we'll, we'll take these two bits of information on his death and who he married. Again, as soon as I learn how to copy and paste, we'll take that out and we will add that into the biography section. Um, I also um, leave the note, please add edit text. If the old note, um, this is a uh, collaborative effort, please add to this pro profile. I'll leave that in there too because I like people who make changes to my profiles. It's, uh, I usually add um, sourced changes welcome. Oh, well, there you go. I like that. I like that note. So let's go up here. Um, how about this? Sourced information. And if we could spell, we'd be, wow. <laughs> information welcome. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll add a... Uh, Alex to that. Oops. Yeah, I may get dinged on it at some point, but mine actually goes right up above the biography line. Oh, no, italics. you're going to get dinged on that big time. I probably will, but that's okay. That's where I want it. I want people to know at the very beginning, yeah, I'd love to have you make changes on this as long as you source it. <laughs> so instead of going through and saying exactly what I've done, I will say post, merge, clean up. Now, um, Max, you didn't say anything about the alternate death place, or is it there on the, it's there in the bio biography, I guess, already. <clears throat> um, Lee County, Lee, Virginia, we, we comment about the alternate death place. Where was the original death place? Well, this one says Lee, if you scroll back up, because I can't see it anymore. Uh, Lee County, Virginia, but if you scroll down with the find a grave uh, source, it says Jackson, Kentucky. So Kentucky was one of the alternate death places. Was it Tennessee? It was Virginia. Oh. There we go. I'm going to change Louisa's name was, um, I'm going to change that to a bullet point and bring them together so it's nice, neat, and tidy. So is there anything else we needed to put on this information? I don't think so. Take out that extra white space. So now I've done post-merge cleanup. I just caught a, a quick thing here. So we've done that. So this is the one of the biggest steps of doing a merge is, is getting that cleanup done. And let's look at the finished profile, what it looks like. But the profile's not finished. But wait, there's more. If you the preview. Got, <laughs> so yeah, you can also click the pre preview, but look, uh, you, we'll see, look at that sourced information welcome. I like that. Uh, and you can see that we've got him in here. We've got the wife and all of that, the research notes. We've got to find a grave memorial. Um, but what I want to do is I want to take a step further. And I want to click on the research and take it over. Everybody knows my email now. <laughs> take it over. Um, take the zeros out. Uh, this is a great hint that Emma taught me. If you take the extra zeros out, and um, we'll head over to Family Search and see what they have. Does everybody notice that Emma has a red uh, do rag on this week? No, oh, orange. I mean, orange. I just say it's orange. It's Come on. On. This is my wiki tree do rag. <laughs> All right. So I just found a death record. Cornelius Farmer says he de died no, the 25th of March, 1909. Don't know if that's our guy. 
Well, his find a grave has an obit on it. Well, that would help too. Um, well, maybe it's not an obituary, it's information. Let's check out the find a grave. <coughs> He served in the Civil War. Oh, wow. Well, there, there's also a Civil War, Company E, Kentucky, Cavalry. So he's got a lot of information. It does look like, it looks like somebody's research notes, because it says proper name may have been Cornelius, 1838, 18... What is that number? 1855, fourth child. That's odd. But John, boy, boy, this is not uh, written that well. But it's also giving Icy Frost Farmer. It gives or Orpha and Simpson. So we have some more people to add to that one. So on this one, let's go back to search. Um, Veterans Affair Administration of Pension Payment. Um there's a picture of this, so let's check this out real quick. Thank you to Family Search, getting ready to look at some of your information. And here is the pension record. That's interesting. Farmer. What is that? Clara Clara V. Name of soldier is Frederick. So this is not going to be our guy. <laughs> You go down one, you're on the wrong. Yes. 31st of August 01, private 182. I can't even read that. Anybody else get that? Here, I'm going to zoom it up. Your screen is blurry to the viewers. I don't know if there's anything. This is not going to be the guy because... He served in the U.S. Army, and our fella served in... That says New York and yep. wrong state. Our, our guy served in the Confederate Army in the Kentucky Cavalry. So we, we actually see that. He was a sergeant. Uh, Neil Farmer. Uh-oh. My wiki tree orange just fell off. So that's not going to work. But the, the, the point of this is... Don't leave it to um, just this information. If you if you see there are questions about the date of death and other information, then you, you're going to want to go through and make sure that you do the research necessary to finish the merge. Um, if, if there are questions, if, if it's a plain and simple merge and everything is just exactly the way it should be, there won't be an issue. Uh, Debbie has one that she wants me to... to uh, pick up on here. I'm going to do that. Let's see where it opens. Okay. Here we go. And here is the one Debbie. Debbie, you want to go through this with us? Yeah, the reason I wanted to show you this one is because this is one of the things you may see when it becomes obvious that a merge may be needed. Here you've got a woman who has two husbands exactly the same name. If you bring them up and look at them and compare, the two gentlemen appear to have the same information. And so it's pretty good chance that they are the same. I just I wanted you to see the kinds of things where they will show up. I've not done enough research on Albert to make sure that he is the same person, but there's a pretty good chance that he is. Well, they were married the same year, too, so that's a pretty good indicator. It's probably the same profile. I also yeah. noticed that there's a spelling mishap on the second Albert. There's a space yeah. between the Mick and the Guy. Exactly, which As means you're going to need to determine which variation they used and make sure you merge them into the correct one. And down at the bottom in the children, you see there's one that's that's Mickey and one that's Mick Space Gee. There right. the other children are. Has a merge been proposed for those, do you know? No, it has not. I just found them at zooming through to see if I could track something down we could look at. So 
what do you know about uh, the last name McGee? It shouldn't have a space, right? I don't know why any My, should, be, should have spaces. I was going to say, the. I think the wiki tree theory mm -hmm. is that they shouldn't have spaces and my family doesn't use a space but i do know that some some families actually do make it a space so it's kind of it's one of those things where you have to have a standard of some kind but what that standard is i've not researched enough just one of the reasons i didn't go ahead and, and um propose the merge on this well, i've not had a chance to look at it well and we can propose a merge and it would be up to kathy mcgee with no space in her name and, and looking at that uh, unless she's found some sort of odd naming uh like if she found some some uh documents that have the name with a space in it maybe she did that so it'll be up her to decide how she wants to do but right now looking at the two alberts uh here's the one and 1836 Virginia was the other Albert. So 1836 West Virginia. West Virginia didn't become a state until uh, this, after the Civil War or right at the Civil War. So this 1836 in West Virginia is going to be wrong. So we know that for sure. Yep. Um, so Virginia 1836, Virginia 1836. Then the uh, son of Jeff. Jeffa, Jeffa, and Elizabeth Knotts. That matches, and that matches here, even the spelling. So it definitely looks like we have two of the very same people. And Mary McGee is the, uh, so her last name at birth is not going to be uh, McGee. So the profile manager would need to change this to unknown. Let's take a look at her profile real quick. Um, yeah, her last name is not going to be McGee. It should be unknown. It might be Hyder, though. If you look down yes. at her name section. Right. So she's got uh, Hyder, Annie. So that would be something that the uh, profile manager also would need to look at. So back to the, back to the men. And then we have father of William Albert McGee. And we see the spelling is the same. It looks to me like um, Kathy created two profiles. Uh, and, and I do that when I when I research. When I research, when rephrased, I used to do that when I researched with an offline application. I would create a separate record if I couldn't identify that they were the same man, right. in hopes that I'd be able to at some point merge them together. We don't want to do that now that we're on WikiTree. Right. We want to make a determination before we create the second man and only create one person. So I use research notes for that. I put down in a research notes section the additional things that I think might be him, but that I haven't proven yet. So I'm looking at the, uh, the, the stuff on both profiles. It looks like this was created through a JEDCOM. Yeah, so there's a bunch of Jed, Jedcom gobbledygook. How do you pronounce that? Emma? Cruft. C-R-U-F-T. Cruft. Cruft, uh, which was a uh, word I used in one of my other ones, and I had to define it for uh, somebody, <laughs> um, which is a, a technical term for people who do programming. Yep. I remember that. Old programmer here. <laughs> oh, there we go. She's not old. She's just a programmer. So are you going to propose a merge? I'm going to propose. Right. You're going to do it? Okay, go for it. But I want to I want to look first. So one is McGee 1480, and the other is McGee 18. And, and we've got a little bit of a problem here because McGee 18, there's an underscore. I mean, there's a space. So I don't think that's the real last name at birth. So, um, But that's I'm the one that has all the sources. That's the one that has all the sources. I'm still going to say that we will merge into uh, McGee 18. Um, actually, what, what should happen here, this is going to change everybody's view. We're going to go back. We already know that there's an issue with the, the name. So I'm going to leave a note on the profile here. 
I'm going to say, hey, Kathy, um, looking to merge. And what's the duplicate profile? It is McGee fourteen eighty, McGee and 18. McGee eighteen. All right. Can you clear up <laughs> the last name at birth for these? And I did check. Kathy is making changes as of, I think, April of 2017. So she oh, is active. So you're going to keep track of this one, um, Debbie, so that we don't lose it by the wayside? Oh, yeah. It's going to show up in your pending merges, Meg. I haven't initiated the merge. That's the point. Ah. <laughs> I don't want to initiate a merge as long as there's a last name at birth question. Okay. So I've just typed here to Kathy. Hey, Kathy, looking to merge this profile with a duplicate and gave the duplicate number, uh, but I'm unsure of the last name spelling. There is a space uh, in McGee on one and not on the other. Can you clear up the last name at birth for these profiles and we can move forward with a merge? Please and thank you, Max. Or please and thank. Thanks. <laughs> thank now, God. Often what I do, Mags, is I will go ahead and propose the merge and write that very thing in the box that they give you to explain why you want the merge to go through because it will automatically post that on the profile for you. Right. And then and I check and then I check and make sure and if it didn't post it to both profiles, I copy paste it onto the other one. Yeah. Which is what we were going to do next. That this was the first step. If you're not sure about a last name at birth, leave a note on the profile, make a note for yourself somewhere where you can go back and check on it later to see what's going on. If, if you're not comfortable or you're not sure about that, the other way to do it is to do is uh, Emma and Debbie were just saying, let's go ahead and initiate that merge into Mick underscore D 18. Those were our two profiles, guys. Yep. yep. 18 and 1480. Yeah. Right, make sure you have the underscore there where the space was and then uh, click merge. We've already compared them. And we're going to say, hey, Kathy, can you clear up this, this issue? So now, um, there we go. Because they're both her profiles, you know, she'll right. see that note and she could do the merge herself. So we're going to propose the merge. It'll come back and it'll show that uh, proposed merge of McGee 1418 into McGee 18. Now, the funny thing about this is since there's already a McGee 1480, it's going to end up being the lowest numbered profile because McGee, when we take away that space, it's going to be a number higher than 1480. So when this, this merge actually goes through, it's going to be McGee 1670 or who knows what, and it'll be merged down into 1480. But it will carry all of the information and sources and notes, all of it will end up on the profile. So now we've we've sent that off to uh, Kathy, and she will see that, and we can go back to the merge page. So we we just ran through quickly a couple of different examples of how merges can happen, and even had one with a funky uh, name on it, uh, meaning that the last name at birth was not 
what we thought might be correct. So we send a note off to the profile manager. And that's all a part of collaboration is, is doing that communication. So we're back on the uh, in on the table of contents for the merging page. And there's lots of information here about unmer unmerged matches, rejected matches. So so what exactly are is an unmerged match? Anybody want to take that? It's a merge that's just, it's kind of on hold. We think this is a merge, but there's some information that has to be reconciled, and so we kind of put it in a holding place. Right. But you should only put it in a holding place if you intend to do the research. Very good point, Debbie. Um, I don't know. Is my screen clearer for my screen share? I zoomed it in a bit. Can you see it better, you guys? Um, it's still kind of blurry, but yeah, it's not clear for me, Mags. Well, I'm I'm very sorry. Um, so one one thing I want to cover here too is if if you have a pending merge that is unanswered for over 30 days. If the profile managers don't complete the merge, they reject it or set profiles as unmerged matches within a month. Uh, it'll be cleared for any wiki genealogist or any signer of the honor code to complete, reject, match, remove it is as it is deemed appropriate. So if you get a merge request, don't let it sit for 30 days. Make sure that you do the due diligence as a, as, as a profile manager to make sure that the information is coming across is correct because after 30 days, if you don't do anything, if you're just idle, then it'll automatically uh, get merged. So unmerged matches, uh, when a clear duplicate, duplicate is, is set to be merged, but you're not ready to merge it yet, maybe you have some more research to do. Like Debbie was saying, don't set an unmerged match unless you uh, are willing to do the research to look into that. Uh, and in that, you can click here to look at unmerged matches. We'll go there real quick. So here are all of the uh, all the pending merges. Um, and this is um, not my watch list. Let's go to the all pending merges. <laughs> here we go. So this is a list of all the pending merges on Wikitree. And you could go through here and look at them. The best thing to do is to go through and hit compare and, and take a look at them. Um, I'm wanting a coffee all of a sudden. I don't know why. <laughs> um, and these two look exactly the same. And um, Mary Coffin Thurston, that's a name that sounds familiar to me. So um, Cecil and Donald are the profile managers. There's some information sources on this one um some sources ah oh, just find a grave on the other one so these two definitely look like they could be merged um and and when you merge not only are you are you cleaning up the limbs from the tree you're connecting some people and if you look at the uh brothers so this profile has all of Gayer Starbucks brothers. Also has his parents. It has one kid. It could be that someone put it in pending because they felt like maybe that wasn't the correct parents. Is it in? A, it, oh, okay. Or maybe it just hasn't. It, I wonder when the merge was proposed. Well, it oh. went. It went to. Um, Looks like they've been working on it like in the past couple of days, so or even today. Max, um, yeah. roll over the wife and see if they're the same profile. So Dylan's six twenty six fifty four. Twenty six fifty four they are. Okay. I noticed they've got two different children, was why I asked. Mm-hmm. So that one might be one that we could look at when we want to do a little bit more uh backtracking on that so back to the pending merges pages um and you can get to this information from the help page the merges page 
So a rejected match is, a, is two profiles that look similar but represent different people. Yep. Um, they're obviously not going to be um, profiles that uh, are on Wikitree, so we'll set them as rejected. Um, and then you can find matches. Uh, we'll skip the rejected matches by default. And then you can also find... I actually have a rejected match for myself. You've rejected a match of yourself? That's pretty sad. Um, you also get information about the direction of a merge, which is something that we've been talking about a bit. Um, and then also uh, merging multiple duplicates down into the lowest number uh, profile. Merging parents. While confirming a merge, you may be prompted to merge or match the fathers and mothers of two profiles. On Wikitree, we don't merge trees. We merge individual profiles. This can be time consuming, but it gives you the maximum amount of control. If you get tired of merging parents, simply stop at a pair and set them as proposed merges or unmatched merges. That way you or someone else can pick up where you left off. Um, so you could get into a, a circle of going back and merging profile, merging profiles, merging profiles, and think you're never going to hit the bottom. But don't worry. You can always leave off where you are. I see Emma's smiling really big. Do you get lost down the rabbit hole when you're doing merges sometimes? Oh, yes, 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 yes. It can go on and on. But sometimes what I do, because I'm the one who proposes the merges, when either I complete the merge or the uh, profile manager completes, if they complete the merge, I'll get a message about that. And so I go and check the merge. Um, and I look for additional merges at that time. So you can stop and go back and look for more. That's that's funny. You can stop. You can stop. Do not yet. <laughs> Debbie, do you have something to input? No, I was going to say, I always check when I get a response showing, an email showing that the merge was done. I always check to see if the person who did the merges cleaned the profiles up because cleaning them up is the most important part to me. That coming from the profile improvement person. Uh, <laughs> I also do it as well. I, I think that the cleanup is, is, I think there are three parts. Proposing or doing the merge, approving the merge. The second part is cleaning out the profile. And the third part is doing that little bit of extra research if there was something that was a little bit caterwonky. <clears throat> So um, the manager's entrusted list of merged profiles, when two profiles get merged, the, the managers and the trusted li list members from all the profiles are combined. And um, you'll be a manager before and after a merge. Um, it, the only difference is in a project prote protected profile, uh, the managers of the merged in profile do not automatically become managers of the project protected profile, but they're still added to the trusted list. Um, and it goes on to talk about having too many profile managers on a profile. What are all those people doing? I always, I always think it's uh, interesting when I bounce into a profile that has 10 or 12 profile managers and the profiles are a mess. And I want to, I want to, click my head like, oh, I should have had a V8 and say, what are all you people doing? Are you still in committee? Yeah, because they all merged themselves together and didn't clean up after the merges. Clean That's up like, after the merge. I'm there like, you go. What? Somebody somebody here could do that. And if, if we have an accidental merge, don't worry. Uh, if two profiles have been accidentally merged, you just need to edit one and recreate the other. Um, no biggie. Uh, so, and I'm going to use the uh, information from the help page here. For example, let's say Joe Schmo Sr. was accidentally merged with his son, Joe Schmo Jr. There is now just one Joe Schmo, and he's listed as his own father. Hmm. So just click the edit tab on the profile, look in the right column where it lists Joe Schmo as Joe Schmo's father, click the edit link to remove the father, and click add father and create a new profile for Joe Schmo the senior. Anybody have any Schmoes in there? How many Schmoes are there on Wikitree? Why don't you guys look that up? I'm just curious. I'm going to look right now because we cannot unmerge um, 
emerge. Okay. You cannot unmerge emerge. Schmo looking. There are one, two, three, four, five, six schmoes. And are they Joe all Joes? There are no Joe schmoes. Oh good. Three females and three male schmoes. Sounds a little bit too consistent for me. <laughs> are are there any does on WikiTree? D O E's? You know there are. Some people you know, do, some people do that as their anonymous name. That's not correct. On WikiTree, no, the last name the last name needs to be unknown, not anon. You can have a non no, as a first no. name. A live person what? needs to be anonymous, and a dead person can be unknown. Really? Yes. Yep. But they See? should not be doe. Non they should not be doe. Unless we, we're running into situations for adoptees who want to use their paternal name but don't know who the paternal parent is, and they want to use unknown. We are still encouraging them to use anonymous but we have a few that have used unknown all right um okay so uh profile ma profile managers who refuse to merge if the re manager refuses to merge a clear duplicate politely point out the following pages to them and that's the page that talks about wikitree's collaborative mindset and also our honor code where we say yes we will merge we will work um you can also go to the problems with members page there's a link to it on this help page and if they just won't respond see the policy on unresponsible unresponsive profile managers not unresponsible i think that's not even a word <clears throat> so if you need uh, shortcuts on it uh, you don't need to start at the matching and merging form there are direct links to autofill the WikiTree IDs. At the very bottom of the pages, the matching matches and merges section in the search results, look for show merging and matching options link above the results and find matches results or on the surname index pages and on the profiles edit page in the edit tab. Uh, you can also, if you've created an extra free space profile, you can merge those together as well. Really? And was, yes. No, and it's on this help page as well. We'll look at it real quick. I didn't know that. Yeah. I do that occasionally. So if you know, you have to make sure that you, you up here at the top, special merge space. So um, you have to make sure that you've got the right name listed. So as they're saying, um, St. Stephen Church, you have to uh, find the information with all of the correct information in the title of the page. I don't know that we have any free space pages that we could look at um, to see that. <clears throat> so this is the page. And um, on this page, you can also go to click to merge persons instead. So what are the biggest takeaways that we get from our wonderful help page is that merging is really important. It's, it's one of the most necessary things that we do on Wikitree. Merging helps keep our limbs trim and neat without clutter. And um, it also keeps our tree healthy. Want to make sure that it, also, it facilitates collaboration as well because when you yeah, merge absolutely. with a cousin, and you're both, you both become profile managers, you're both working on that profile. I wanted to show one more thing uh, to everybody. I'm back on the, uh, the browsing the matches pages, and we've got a, a list here of matches. We looked at the compare where you can compare to, you can see who proposed the, the merge. You can look and see who the approval was from. Um, you can see that there's no response from somebody, then you can complete this merge after a final comparison. But also, you can do a comparison on Wikitree Plus, and that is a part of the database errors project. And this page, let me blow it up a bit just to try and help with the, uh, with the uh, focus. So on this page, it gives you a different kind of a comparison. And this, this kind of comparison is 
based in the database errors project and it gives all of the useful information uh, shows the profile names come on come on oh Debbie your cat is your cat does not like the wiki tree X program or likes it so much <laughs> that my she, cat is being removed from the desk so um, it shows the profile and you can go through here and you can uh, compare the information, Lena, Gertrude, uh, the dates, which all look, and then Albert, uh, Elgin, Albert County, New Brunswick, Canada. And I would say that the one on the right is correct because I know that's the way things are in Canada. Um, then we look at the death date, the death dates match, they're bang on, the death, death locations match, they're bang on, the profile's open. If we want to go further we can compare the two fathers listed and it also looks like the two fathers are correct and we can look at the mothers and see if the mothers are correct they do look the same to me we can go and to it pardon me I said they're correct but duplicated duplicated that's correct and we see uh, all of the uh, spouse information all of the children information and the mother of the children so one of the profiles has all of the kids and one of the profiles does not so we could go ahead and, and confirm this based on that so let's let's do that just for fun you have duplicate parents oh, I didn't notice yes. that no yes. well not it's not duplicate parents they go back to the same parents, Carl 11. No, they don't. They are duplicate no. parents. So here's a, a rabbit hole you could all disappear into. Yeah, so I always check on the parents before I propose a merge because they may look exactly the same, but they may be duplicates. And so I try to propose the merge of the parents and let the person know I made that proposal and that merge needs to happen first. Yeah. Right, and you see that on in the Wikitree X, you get a look at the parents uh, on the Wikitree X program. Here's here are the two fathers listed, Carl 352 and Carl 111. And then you go down here and you can see the mothers, Blakeney 52, Blakeney 6, and they do indeed look like the same people. So they need to be merged as well. We are out of time for this one. Um, I, I think that we've covered everything really clearly and people can see what to do. Uh, the most important thing is to find that help page, go to the index page, the help index, click on the table of contents on M and go down to merging about, we'll get you started. And uh, <clears throat> that's our Wikitree live cast for this week. Debbie, oh, what's so fun to have you pop in and Me also... And uh, thank you so much for being here as well, Emma, as usual. Um, I didn't make an announcement yet, but Emma is taking over the uh, sidekick, the moderator uh, slot here as Julie moves up in the tree, so far up the tree we can't see her anymore, um, <laughs> getting lost and working on limbs that we can't see at all. So thank you so much, uh, Emma, for stepping into that. Uh, Emma, I have an orange T-shirt to send you. And uh, your orange tabby cat, uh, Debbie, what's your favorite color? Orange, apparently. Orange. And she has an orange uh, cat, too. So thank you all so much for being here, and we'll see you next, uh, next Saturday. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.